Hey friends, I'm Shelly. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you what's in my diaper bag for a two-year-old. My daughter Luna is just about to be 22 months old and I'm going to show you everything that I use to be prepared for absolutely anything as well as keep her super entertained including the one thing that is a must-have for entertainment. So if you need some ideas for what to pack inside of your diaper bag, just keep watching. This video is a collaboration with my friend here on YouTube. Her name is Tana and her channel is Boardroom to Bounce House. Tana is a busy working mom of two and her channel is all about how to balance working mom life. She posts cleaning and decluttering motivation three times a week as well as all the mom boss content. Her video will be up later this evening so be sure to come back and check out what's in her diaper bag too. The link to her channel will be in my description box. And if you are here from Tana's channel, my name is Shelly Shush, and I make weekly motherhood and lifestyle videos. On my channel, you'll find things like grocery and shopping hauls, all the mom life and toddler things, and lists of my favorite products. So I'd love it if you would hit the subscribe button down below, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. So first I'm going to show you my diaper bag. I bought it off Amazon. It cost me less than $40, and I'm sure you guys have seen these everywhere. They come in a ton of colors by a ton of different companies. I've had this one since before she was born. It was actually the first thing that I bought when I knew that I was pregnant. Uh, I got the gray color just so that I might be able to use it if I was having a boy or a girl I didn't know at the time. And it is the Bright Night Love and Care Diaper Bag Backpack. So first thing I'm going to do is show you the things on the outside that I really love about it. So this pocket on this side here is for wipes and I love that it has the elastic so that if you put something in here that is larger, like a bigger water bottle, it's not gonna push things inside the bag, it's gonna push to the outside of the bag. And then on the other side, I keep a bottle of water because on the inside of the bag, I have an empty sippy cup. On the back, it has two straps to attach to your stroller. And then I just keep a little Purell, and you need hand sanitizer everywhere these days. It also has a zipper with a flat pocket. This is good for keeping your ID or just your keys. And then the most important part is on the back here, it has a zipper so that you don't need to open the bag and rummage through it to get to what's at the bottom. You can just open this back part and get down to the very bottom of the bag without having to mess everything up inside. On the front, the zippers move so easily and I really love that. So it's got this little mesh part and inside the mesh I have these which are just for when we used to go to restaurants I guess but even at a friend's house maybe somebody that doesn't have kids you put this down on the table before they eat it sticks to the table it's like a little placemat and that'll keep the mess at bay then I also keep a baby spoon and a bowl it's one of those munchkin bowls that can literally pop out and the most important thing to have in your diaper bag for a toddler is snacks so we load up the snacks in here uh, I have cookies and little um, yogurt melts I have a pouch usually when we go out I'll carry two pouches bars are a must in our house so I carry two bars one's a yogurt bar one's just like a fruit and nut bar and then in this last little pocket on the inside, I carry all of her um, naturopathic medicines. So I have Camellia, which is for teething. I have an, another Camellia because I guess at that time she was teething a lot. Then I have Cosintol, which is for tummy troubles. We've never actually really had to use those. And then I have baby Origel also for when she's teething. Also on the inside, these three pockets are insulated so if you have a bottle fed baby you can have cold or warm things in there and it'll keep it for you now let's get into what's inside the diaper bag and the first thing that i want to tell you about this is it's awesome because it's got this like wire around the rim here so that you can literally stand it up and leave it open and you'll be able to grab things so the first thing in here is the empty cup like i said always have to have a sippy cup more snacks surprise surprise these are just some um, organic apple and cinnamon puffs so the inside has two side pockets 
and then it's got two pockets along this side and then also a zipper pocket right here so the first side pocket has our changing mat I just noticed that I'm missing something in there and that's a disposable changing mat so if we go out somewhere and I have to change her in a public restroom then I would put down the disposable mat first and then I would put down her changing mat just because those things are really really gross and I'm a little bit of a germaphobe then I have poop bags these ones are scented like baby powder and I keep these because if I go to somebody's house and they don't have kids then I prefer to put them in here and either take it with me or leave it in the bathroom but it smells a lot less when you put it in these bags I have bum cream and we use the bird's bees and this stuff is like magic guys I will link it down below for you because if she has a diaper rash and I put this on literally within hours you notice a difference so I swear by this stuff and it's all natural then I keep baby Tylenol and in that I also keep a thermometer we travel a lot we sleep over at our friends or our sisters houses quite often so I always want to make sure that I have both of these things these are like super super important to have you never want to be without Tylenol we also have a little Peppa Pig first aid kit I've only had to use it one time for a little band-aid but this one is really cool it has antiseptic wipes latex free gauze pads bandages and the case I guess so it's got everything you need for a little boo-boo so moving on to the next pocket is more of a personal hygiene pocket and like I said we sleep over at our friends and sisters houses quite often so I carry around a little body wash and baby lotion this is the live clean and these came as samples when I was uh, still pregnant so samples are the best things to use inside of your diaper bag because they don't take up too much space then we also carry around a toothbrush and her toothpaste. I have a hairbrush, a washcloth, and then this, oh, I also have an extra body wash. Again, it was a sample. I love all of these little samples. Into the next pocket, we have a bib. She doesn't really use bibs too much anymore, but I do keep it just in case she's wearing like a nice shirt and I don't want her to get it messy a pair of sunglasses, a pair of socks, and I got this at a baby show once, and this is just a, it's called Rebel Stork, oops, there it is, stain remover. Moving on to the next pocket, we have diapers. So she uses Huggies Little Snugglers, and we're in size four, and then I also keep the nighttime diapers because, again, we sleep over everywhere gotta have the antibacterial wipes these days because everything needs to be wiped all the time then this bag also has a charging port and cord for my phone so I keep a little charging block and it's all charged up in here so that if I absolutely need it I can just connect my phone to it through here and then inside the zipper pocket, this is mainly my zipper pocket. So I keep a deodorant because guys, I forget to put on deodorant all the time. I don't know why it always slips my mind, but I have to have one in my bag because I always forget. And then I keep a tiny little Vaseline. That's just in the pockets. We haven't even gotten to what's inside the bag yet. So now let's get into that. These are the things to keep your kid entertained, okay? So the first thing is a really colorful book that they don't see all the time. So it's this Little Fish and Mommy book. We have a tiny little Barbie. And the thing that I think is the absolute most important to keep your kid entertained is Play-Doh. Guys, you have to have Play-Doh. Play-Doh keeps kids entertained for so long and there's just so many things you can do with it. And this one is an unopened one, so she's never seen this color before. If I were to pull this out and actually play with her with the Play-Doh, she could be sitting there for hours. We can make all kinds of things with Play-Doh. It's endless fun. So always keep a little tiny thing of Play-Doh. This costs like $1.25 at the dollar store. We carry a backup um, monitor 
and camera. This has been probably like the most useful thing that is ever inside this bag. Every time we go somewhere, it's easy for us to set up the camera and then we have peace of mind when we're sleeping over at places. And to go along with that, we have a portable sound machine. This one is from Skip Hop, I believe, and I can link that down below for you, as well as the, the mini camera. That's my cat, Sassy. She's 19. Hello. And then we have Luna's Lovey. Lovey is very, very important. We actually have two of them, one that we keep in her crib all the time, and this one always stays in the diaper bag, so we never forget Lovey. And then I keep a long sleeve onesie, a short sleeve onesie, and a pair of pants for Luna. I keep a t-shirt for myself because you never know when you're gonna get messed up from your kid. And then the last thing in the bag is just one of these muslin blankets from Aiden and Anai. So the last thing that I wanna share with you about this bag that I think is really, really cool is at the very bottom, it has like um, a plastic, covered pocket so that if your baby was to soil its clothes you can put it in here and be able to wipe it out later without having to worry that you've got the yucky stuff inside of your bag so it's not going to smell and it's not going to get all over everything i think that's super important this bag is so well designed and if it broke down today i would purchase a new one tomorrow because it is just made for moms and it's got all the things and it's just so well thought out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope I gave you lots of inspiration for all the things that you need to put inside of your diaper bag. Let me know down in the comments below if I forgot anything and also let me know if you're over here from Tana's channel. You can follow me over on Instagram at mrs.shelly.shoosh and I will catch up with you guys next week in a new video. Bye!